talk about shape in, in our gym. Uh, and the thing about shape is we want it to be the shape of the ball. Okay, that when you're taking the ball in your, your window, uh, that it's the shape. You could just come and someone could set a ball right here in my hands and it would perfectly, my hands would perfectly shape that ball. Hence the name shape. So we're in our shape. And when we talk to little kids, we talk about um, having a wrinkle in your wrist. That way you know your thumbs are back. So you can see my, my wrinkles in my wrist. I always tell them that's not because I'm an old lady, but uh, because I have my hands in the right position. Okay, so we're in shape. Our thumbs are back. Our fingers are wide so we can shape that ball. Our shape kind of starts right about our belly button. And then when we go to our window, okay, our elbows are out, our thumbs are back, okay, we're kind of keeping it in tight. Young kids tend to do a lot of extra arm motion. They run to the net and their arms are like all over the place and there's, I always say they're orchestrating a choir or they're like doing the breaststroke and we, we, don't, we don't want any of that to happen. The less motion, the better. We want to go from our shape to our window into our freeze. So we have our shape, our window, our freeze. Again, our hands are in the shape of the ball, our thumbs are back and our wrists are bent so that we see these um, wrinkles in our wrist. Okay, the other um, key thing is our, then we talk about where, what our feet are doing, what our hips are doing. I just think anything you do in sports, you have an athletic stance. So your right foot is slightly forward, your hips are shoulder width apart, there's a little stag in your step, again, just that right foot, just very slightly forward. So that if I'm here at the net and I'm in setter's position, I want my right foot slightly forward because if my left foot was slightly forward, I'm, I'm setting the other team, which I don't ever want. Okay, so, and my hips are always going to be square to my target. So in this case, as a setter, it's whoever I'm setting. Okay, so I want to always make sure my hips are square. So the other piece is our feet. We know our shape, our window, and our freeze. We need to get our feet to the ball. And again, the more athletic your setter, the better. Um, but sometimes that's not always the case. So we want to work on their footwork and practice that footwork. So the first thing is we want them to get their feet to the ball. And their last two steps are going to be a tap, tap. So when they go from their shape to their window, they're literally just going to get load those hips, get in that tap, tap. It's a left, right. And then they get up on their toes and set. Obviously, as they progress and get better and older and stronger, we want them to be in the air. We want them to jump set. So we we can eliminate some of the space between our setter and our hitter and get the ball into our hitter's hands a little faster. But we're going to just show you the progression of these skills and how we can practice that.